New at 10, if you have ever dreamed of owning your own self-driving robo-taxi like Waymo or Zooks, well, this next story is for you. A Bay Area startup says it now plans to offer up the world's first fully autonomous vehicle built and designed for consumers. KTV Zach Sauce has a story from San Jose. It's pretty magical. Um, you know, this has been, uh, yeah, almost 10 years in the making. Behind the wheel of the Tensor Robocar, the company's chief business officer, Hugo Fazzotti. So now that you're not needing to focus on the road, you can focus on yourself, you can focus on Netflix, you can focus on doing work. No need to be behind the wheel, no need to even be in the driver's seat. That's because this car is being touted as the first fully autonomous vehicle that'll be sold directly to consumers. To see it come to life is, is truly special. The vehicle built by San Jose-based Tensor. Industry expert Sam Abelwell Samed says there are reasons why we've yet to see Waymo, Zooks, or other similar companies sell straight to the public, and it mostly comes down to liability. With vehicles that you and I drive, uh, if we get into a crash, we're responsible for uh, for that crash. Um, you know, we we are the ones that will get a ticket or you know, be held liable. When uh, a machine is driving the vehicle or when software is driving the vehicle, the company that created that has to take responsibility for that. Just one of the reasons this car will likely be pricey, the car and its technology also expensive to manufacture. This has all really been specifically designed from the ground up. There are currently other direct-to-consumer vehicles on the road like Teslas that have self-driving features, but none that have reached what's known as Level 4, which don't require a human in the driver's seat. This is actually the world's first Level 4 vehicle that's been designed specifically for personal ownership. Not dramatically different specifications from what you would find on any other mainstream robo taxi like a Waymo or Zooks or Motional or, or other companies. This is nothing at all like what Tesla is doing. Tesla is relying entirely on cameras, uh, which is a fundamentally um, flawed approach to doing a robo taxi. Not the case with this car. There are also plenty of bells and whistles future owners can look forward to, including numerous monitors, even some acting as side view mirrors, and this when you're in self-driving mode. You press the level four button and steering wheel goes away and it, you really have more space. And as for a price, they're hoping to release that soon with the car going to market sometime in the second half of 2026. In San Jose, Zach Sass, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Starting next Tuesday, Waymos and other ride shares will be allowed to drive on Market Street in downtown San Francisco. That street has been closed to private vehicles from the waterfront to Van Ness since early 2020. Now Mayor Lori says ride share cars will be able to pick up and drop off people at seven different spots on Market Street. At